the counter build is a condition where you will deviate slightly from your usual build items to adapt to the mobile legend scheme. Usually counter builds are aimed at the heroes who are little annoying so you arrange your items so that you benefit. With an item counter build the game will be easier. Hi guys Kazuki here and in this video I will be providing the best items to counter your opponents as well as showing you how to re-counter your opponents counter build so without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video. We will be breaking down the equipments so that even people who recently joined MLBB can understand. In fact, even a newborn baby can understand it. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating and similarly this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. Let me start with the most popular item, Corrosion Scythe. Heroes like Wan Wan, Kerry, Mosko, Mia, Claude and Temuz use this item. I would say the composition of this item makes it more popular. And this item also gives you extra 80 physical damage and 30% attack speed at maximum stakes. Similar to this item we have Golden Staff that serves the similar purpose of increasing the attack speed. Remember, if you build this item, you will not be able to trigger crit effects and every percent of crit chance will turn into attack speed. But there is one exception. Moscow will be able to trigger his passive crit effects to the targets lying behind the marked enemy and also get the golden star passive to cool down his skills at the same time using the basic attacks. And similar to that heroes like Claude and Kerry get the enhanced benefit of triggering the attack effects twice. To counter these items as a whole, you can use the defense item Dominance Ice the passive effect of Dominance Ice reduces the attack speed of both of the items. You will get 75% of reduced attack speed and you can combo this item with heroes like Hylos to get the best effect of slowdown. One other attack speed item will be Wind Talker with a massive 40% attack speed that can also be countered by Dominance Ice. Next I will be talking about the item Blade of Despair. This item offers the most physical damage in game and has a passive that gives extra damage to heroes with 50% or lower HP. Normally you will be able to counter this item with Queen's Wing. As Queen Wing's passive reduces the damage from the items by 20% when the user's HP is below 40%. Next we have the item Warrex. This item is suitable for sustainable fighters and assassins like Balmain, Saber, Lance, Haya and more. You get extra physical attack, penetration and more importantly movement speed. Since you have noticed that the most of the heroes like the Balmain and Saber use the skills to deal damage, it becomes easy for you to counter them with anti curious anti curious reduces the physical attacks of the enemies by up to 24% when being hit by skills. So you can see that the benefit you get from the war X is directly reduced by anti curious. On a strategic approach, the item anti curious also fits to be good counter for Blade of Despair as many of the Blade of Despair's users use it on heroes that deal damage with skills. Now let me get to the next item, Demon Hunter Sword. As the name suggests, this item is really helpful for the heroes with very high HP. Item passive deals 9% of target's HP as basic attack damage. This can just make any tank sweat their shit out. Now to counter this item, you need Blade Armor. Blade Armor not only gives you defense to counter DHS but also re-counter the user by dealing 25% of the incoming damage with added 25% damage from the physical defense build. He's ready if you prepared your money.
If you are looking for a 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. Now as we are talking about the different items, let me tell you the counter to those also. Items like blade armor, anti fures, brute force breastplate and other items with armor or you can say physical defense in it can be countered by Malefic Roar. Malefic Roar helps you to deal 35% penetrating damage against the physical defense and this penetration increases by 20% according to the physical defense of the user. Another counter to these defense items will be true damage items, especially applied by the items like the Endless Battle, Calamity Reaper and the Thunderbell. For those who don't know about true damage, these are the constant white damage which will be dealt to the enemies irrespective of the physical defense or the armor build. And you also have a counter to this true damage. All you need to do is build items with high HP attributes like the Sky Guardian helmet. If you want to counter the movement speed from the items like War X and Hunter Strike, you will be able to counter them by using the Ice Queen wand. Corrosion Scythe works too, but I would not suggest you to depend on its slowdown effects. Now coming to 3 crit items, the Scarlet Phantom, Berserker's Fury and the Wind Talker. You can now counter all of the crit damages from these items with the Blood Armor and you can combo these with the Dominance Ice items to further slow down the attack speed which will also tune down the attack damage. We will also have the items Wind of Nature especially for MM to counter physical attacks and can defend you against heroes like Hayabusa. You can re-counter this item by using heroes like Nathan and Kimi as they deal magic damage. Now let me quickly discuss about the magic items and I will divide them into burst and poke. Let's start with the burst items. We have items like lightning truncheon, holy crystal, cloak of destiny and the blood wings that have high magic damage. Each of these items are known for its burst and instant one shot damage in the late game. And to counter these items you should go for Athena's shield. The passive of Athena's shield will reduce the magic damage taken by 25%. And if you want it in numbers, then if the enemy deals a total of 4000 magic damage, then you will only receive 3000 magic damage and 1000 points of magic damage will be reduced. The impact is quite huge if you think of it. But you can recounter Athena's shield up to some mark with the poke damage items. Let's keep the details small and simple and move to the poke damage item. We have the item Glowing Wand which deals additional magic damage according to the target's 1.5% of maximum HP. This item is especially paired with heroes like Valir and Change. But you can recounter these items with the help of the Radiant Armor. Apart from the 52 magic defense of the basic states, you will be able to see that the item's passive grants 48 magic damage reduction. And this reduction can impact a lot when facing heroes that deals constant magic damage. You can say this item can even defend against heroes like Eve by reducing the damage you take. Now if you want to counter this, you will need the help of magic penetration item. You can choose the genius wand that features in reducing the magic defense by up to 21 at maximum stakes. Also you will be able to go for the divine glaive. Similar to the malefic roar, you get 35% magic penetration and you will be able to get additional magic penetration up to 20% according to the magic defense of the enemy. Now comes the lifesteal items like the Endless Battle, Hose Claws, Bloodlust X, Concentrated Energy, Shadow Twin Blades and such. These items provide at least 15-20% to of lifesteal from the physical or magic damage. And you will be able to counter those with the NT lifesteal items like the Sea Halberd, Necklace of Durance and Dominance Eyes. 
these items will lower the lifesteal by up to 50% of the total lifesteal or spell vamp value. But you will also be able to recounter the anti lifesteal items with the help of Oracle, which will increase your region effects by 30%. Let me give you a summary. To counter the attack speed items, you can go for the dominance size item and use high HP heroes. And to counter high HP heroes and items, I would advise you to use Demon Hunter Sword. And to recounter DHS, you can build the blade armor. And the items like blade armor, Anticures, Brute Force Breastplate can again be countered with Malefic Roar. A Blade of Despair can be countered by Queen's Wings and Vorex's natural counter can be antiquous. Armor based items can also be countered with true damage and true damage can be recountered with high HP items making it go around in a whole circle. After that I mentioned the burst magic items that can be countered with Athena's shield. And as I mentioned already, you can counter the both damage items along with heroes like Change and Wali using the Radiant Armor. And both Athena's shield and Radiant Armor can be countered with the help of items like Genius Wand and Divine Glaive. After that comes the Lifesteal items that can be countered by anti-lifesteal items like the Dominant Size, Sea Halberd and Necklace of Durance. And before ending this video, here's a shout out from our previous video. Justin Lizardo, Jenitsu, Lolo Rabvi, Avitole, and Quartio. So that was it for the counter recounter items. Many of the vintage players know that this is a vast concept and the counter and recounter to the items will vary according to different heroes too. I would like to know your thoughts about it. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.